I bought 95 Xbox 360 and Wii consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test and explore about 10 of them and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to the Texas Load. So my profit goal for this video is only $50 because I'm planning to sell all these consoles as is for pretty cheap prices. So let's go ahead and start with this first one. So starting off, we got a Black Elite Xbox 360 with a 120 gigabyte hard drive, and it appears to be a Jasper motherboard. Nice, so uh, let's go ahead and plug it in and turn it on and see if it works. All right, our console's plugged in now. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it does. And there it goes. Hey, we got life. Any free games? Nope, but the disk drive works perfectly. Let's go ahead and see if it boots up. And hey, we got some profiles here. We got backwards, I don't know how to say that. Frontwards Panda, Hooters, <laughs> Player One, Waffle Sauce, and Waffle Sauce. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we do have some profiles. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit. So just a note here, uh, Danny seemed to have figured out the whole <laughs> the whole naming convention here. It seems that the first one is backwards bear, and the other one is frontwards panda. I, I, I don't know what's going on here, but that, that seems to be the answer. I, I don't know if there's a deeper meaning behind that, but uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting, I guess. And yeah, like I showed you, this tray actually works perfectly. Like that's the best one I think I've seen in the entire Texas Load lot. Let's go ahead and check out this guy's, guy's profile. Nothing special. Last played in 2011, playing some Halo 3. Nice. Got also got MW3, FIFA 12. So uh, pretty standard, you know, probably dumped his 360 once he got to the Xbox One and, and uh, PS4, that sort of thing. Got some random just game trials. Actually, there's a lot of trials on here. Yeah, huge mix of stuff. TMNT, 1989 Classic Arcade, uh, Switch Ball, just tons of stuff on here, more than I usually see on consoles. Now, of course, next up, we'll check out these other profiles as well, see if there's anything interesting going on. So here in front where it's Panda, uh, I don't know what to make of this avatar, but all right, uh, 35 gamer score, played some Halo 4 and Castle Crashers back in 2011, so not much to write home about. Yeah, it definitely looks like a, that looks like a Hooters profile. Like, I, I'll leave it at that. Always offline, same games, um, nothing special. <laughs> all right, and Waffle Sausen actually played back in 2013, so uh, he's by far the most recent here. So I actually decided to check out this guy's game videos, and it's always funny looking at these thumbnails because of how blurry they are. But this is like straight up, you know, 2010 kind of stuff. Fallout 3 trailer, Halo 3, couple episodes here. Announcement and Halo 3 Believe. We've got E3 from 2007, just uh, funny stuff. But let's go ahead and boot up this game, and make sure it works. All right, cool, so the game is working, the console is working. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. And of course, Profit will be on the screen, and we'll list it down below on the website. So next up I have a 360 Slim and it looks like somebody beat the crap out of it. It just looks awful. Uh, we do still have the warranty seal intact partially, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we have a hard drive in here. And we do not. Uh, let's go ahead and boot it up and see if there's any memory. All right, console's booting up. Any free games? Nope, but this drive works perfectly. It is booting up and we have no memory. So there's nothing to explore here. Let's go ahead and put a game in though and make sure it works. All right, well, this console is good as well. We'll go ahead and list it down below and let's move on to the next console. Now, next up, I have a console I've been wanting to open for quite a while because it looks like, it appears to be a complete unbox 360 Slim. It's got a little sticker here on it like they tried to sell it in the past. Yeah, nothing special to write home about here. Let's go ahead and open the box up and see what's inside of here. And, oh yeah, there we go. So we actually, <laughs> we have the two foam pieces on here, which is extremely surprising. We've got an AV cable, wow. We even, wow, we have the connect in like the, the foam wrapping. That's super surprising. We've got a power cable, a controller. Ooh, this controller looks disgusting, but it is there. Actually, it's not that bad, it's just dusty. Wow, this feels like it's never been used. Ooh, it's got, it's got some batteries in it, but it's not corroded. That's good to see. Let me go ahead and dump those batteries out. And then last but not least here on the bottom, we've got a manual and no game. So we're, we pretty much have everything except for the game. And actually one more thing, I forgot to check the hard drive here. Uh, no extra storage, but it should have four gigs built in. And this console does indeed look really nice. It looks like it's not beat up at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug it in, see if it works. All right, so three, two, one, got life. Now I really want a free game here. I haven't gotten a free game in a 360 in quite a while. And hey, hey, let's go, we got Call of Duty. And wow, it, uh, it looks really clean. There's like one finger, finger smudge on it, but other than that, it looks perfect and Dude, it's on NXC? What? So now this console is really interesting because there's not much overlap between the NXC dashboard and the Slim console. Because as soon as the Slim came out, the Connect came out pretty quickly after that. And the Connect, when you got the Connect, there was like a Connect dashboard update, which is a slightly modified version of the NXC. So like the chances of getting this is super slim, but here it is. And we got a profile on it, got, got Don, D-O-N, I guess that is. And uh, yeah, last game played was World of War and he, he left it in his, in his console, Halo Reach. Wanted Weapons of Fate. Now, of course, we gotta check out the game library, see if he's got anything interesting on here. We got Peggle, Kingdom for Keflings, Hexic HD, and Pinball FX. I think these are all games that just came on a lot of 360s, just like by default, so I'm not surprised to see that. Let's go ahead and see if we have any other uh, any other uh, profiles here. Nope, literally just Dawn, which is fine, uh, but cool. Let's go ahead and put the game back in 
and make sure it works. All right, so the game's working, and I got a few more things to explore because I'm really curious about this whole dashboard thing now. So let me do a little bit more digging, and I'll come back. All right, guys, so this is actually pretty wild. So first of all, I did check the serial number of the box and the console, and they do match up, so they are a pair. Now, next thing I'll show you is looking at this box again, it says, do not open before November 4th, 2010. So presumably that's when it was released and that's when you could buy it from the store. Now I checked and the first connect, the first version of the Connect dashboard was November 1st, 2010. So presumably if you had ever connected this console to the internet, it would have updated to the Connect dashboard, but apparently it was actually from factory on the older dashboard and this person just never connected to the internet. So uh, this is like a, an extremely rare console to come across a slim that came with Connect that's not on the Connect dashboard, like such a weird circumstance, but that's actually, that's pretty cool. And it kind of explains why this console is so clean. Like it, it's barely beat up at all. It's got some, got some dust in it, but of course it's been sitting in the, in that Goodwill warehouse for who knows how long, but just amazing. This person bought the console, never connected to the internet and it's still on the NXE dashboard, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So guys, I just wanted to let you know that we are in the process of starting a brand new YouTube channel called Smoking Silicon. It's all based on PC content, you know, PC gaming, PC teardowns, buying interesting stuff, hence the name Smoking Silicon, haha. <laughs> uh, so go ahead and hit the link down below and subscribe to it. We'll have videos coming out in a few weeks. And the cool thing is, if you're tired of seeing my face, I'm not the only one on camera. We'll have multiple hosts, we'll have myself, we'll have Danny on camera if you've ever seen him on the second channel. And we'll also have another guy that's starting in a few weeks that'll be on camera as well. So go ahead and subscribe and be prepared for a the first video drop in a few weeks. So for a little variety, we're gonna go with a Wii console next. We have a white GameCube compatible Wii and I accidentally just turned it on. Do we have an SD card? We do not, but I do hear a game inside. So, hey, let's see what we got. I bet it's probably Wii Sports. It's Wii Sports Resort. Oh, oh, oh baby. That might be the most valuable game I've come across yet in this lot. Uh, Wii Sports Resort is like 30 bucks, I think, something like that. Hey, that's, that's pretty dope. Let's go ahead and put that back in. Let's go ahead and explore this console. We got all the standard channels here. We've got no hidden channels. Last time we have a message is on March 23rd, 2019. And yeah, last played Wii Sports Resort and then tossed the console. Got a ton of just random messages here. Uh, Golf, Bennett, congratulations. Uh, but let's go ahead and back, go back to the main menu and make sure Wii Sports Resort works. And the funny thing is Wii Sports Resort gets, gets us like halfway to our profit goal just on its own because it's basically free profit because I didn't factor it into like what I paid. Uh, but yeah, the game's working. Let's go back to the main menu and check out a few more things. So here, oh, oh, dude, no way. Oh, the jackpot. Finally, somebody that made Mies, man. This is like, this is more Mies than I had. Like, give this guy credit. Holy crap, that's like, what, 150 Mies maybe? Maybe 100, I don't know. But there's a ton here. We got young girl, <laughs> playa. This is awesome. <laughs> Fish eye. This person definitely took advantage of the Check Me Out channel. Um, definitely downloaded a bunch of stuff. Probably uploaded some stuff too. I don't even want to guess what that name is there. Naruto. This looks kind of like my me, but like a, a, a lot worse. I guess I'll just put it crazy guys. All right, this is awesome. I, I love seeing people being creative with their me's and stuff. So uh, cool to see this. It's not very often I see that many me's on the channel or, or, or ever, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console now. So next up, we'll do a white Wii here. And this one surprisingly has both flaps intact. It's not often you see that. Now, is there an SD card? There is not, but this, ooh, this thing's got tons of dust. But let's go ahead and turn this thing on and loud disk drive, nothing inside, unfortunate. But let's go ahead and uh, see if it works. So up here, pretty basic. We do have a Wii Fit channel. Actually, I like checking out the Wii Fit channel because you can see when the people like last, you know, played Wii Fit. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, let's check out Bee Fizzle here. <laughs> it's been 5,351 days since I last saw you. <laughs> How many years ago is that? That's like, wait, that can't be right. Okay, I guess it is right. 5,000 days, that's like 13 or 14 years ago. So yeah, 2009, 2010. Uh, <laughs> That is, that is a long time. All right, so I wanted to check this person's Wii Fit age, but it won't let me go back past like 2021. I don't I don't know why, but oh well. So I put a copy of Wii Sports in and it is working. I'm not gonna boot it up right now, but we'll do a full test later, of course. Let's go ahead and hop over to the calendar and see when this thing was last played. All right, July 2015, we've got a message on here. Wii Sports Resort news. We got <laughs> Wii Sports Resort for three minutes. Nice, uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, we got a decent number of me's here. Nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah, that was P Peter, 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 I, don't, I guess that's Peter. But you know, you got your classic dad, mom, Adam, you know, just the standard Joe Jack. <laughs> All right, well, this console's working. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, another GameCube compatible Wii, and this one's got something nasty on the front here. I don't know what that is. That's nasty. And then let's check the front, any SD card? Nope. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. And ooh, there's definitely a game. Mario Kart, maybe? And <laughs> Dude, that's unbelievable. <laughs> straight up is Mario Kart. Now this one looks pretty beat up and dirty, so 
I won't be surprised if that, that doesn't work. But honestly, none, none of those scratches look too deep, so let's put it back in and we'll try it out. I can't believe I just guessed the game, though. Straight up guess. Like, 75%, actually more like 90% of the time, it's either Wii Sports or Mario Kart, but uh, that's just, just funny. All right, so here's something weird. I think the sensor bar jack might be slightly jacked up. Um, I have to stand really far back for it to even register. And I'm using the same sensor bar I've been using for all of the consoles. But in other news, surprisingly, the game is loading up. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and ten see when this console was uh, last played. All right, so here in August 2012 is our last icon. There's no play data, and somebody explained this to me recently why that occurs. Apparently, these icons here don't actually mean play data. It just means there's a message. So uh, technically, there could be play data in, you know, say, August 2013. Uh, but there's basically no physical way for me to find that out because I'd have to scroll through every single day for the last, you know, 20 years here, which I'm not going to do. But we do see some play data on 731. It looks like they last played Wii Sports here. And, hey, we got a decent number of Miis here. Mr. Luke. MJ. Oh, that looks like... Michael Jordan, but really short. <laughs> and of course, classic dad. <laughs> All right, but minus the weird sensor bar thing, this console is working. We'll put the profit on the screen. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, next up, we have a 360 Slim here. And this is a glossy one, of course. Looks like it was beat up again. And it's definitely been open before. Now, is there a hard drive? Let's check. And there is not. Well, let's go ahead and uh, turn it on, see if it works. All right, we got power, any free games? Okay, the disk drive is not even trying to open. All right, so I was trying to read something. So I don't know, there might be a game in there. I'm not sure, but it, it like, it won't try to open at all. Like there's, I don't know, like something's just disconnected. I, I don't know what's going on there, but I'll try to see if I can manually, manually open it in a minute. But let's go ahead and check out our storage. Yeah, there's no storage here at all. Um, so nothing going on here. We really can't test anything unless I get the drive open. All right, so I got a toothpick and there is a hole in the side of the console where you can actually do a manual eject, so let me try that. All right, there we go, got it out enough. And, oh, there is a game. We got Assassin's Creed 2 and the game is super clean. Now, clearly the game is not working because, yeah, like, what is going on? Dude, I, I swear, they must have just, like, disconnected the cable when they opened it up. But we got a free game, which is solid. Um, again, like I said in this video, I'm, I'm selling all these consoles as is, not doing any, any repairs or anything. So I'll just sell this console for cheap on my website down below. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up, we have this white 360, and it doesn't look too bad from the top, honestly. But we have these, like, tire marks on the bottom almost. And then here on the back, let's see what motherboard we have. So it's 2009 and yep, definitely a Jasper. So we probably have some onboard storage. But let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, so let's turn it on, three, two, one. And we got life, any free games? Nope, but the dish tray, dish tray works without an issue. And we've got one profile, G, JP5 with 40 gamer score. All right, Call of War, <laughs> what? what a random. <laughs> All right, okay, cool. Let's see how much memory this thing has or how much storage. Uh, yeah, so it's like a 256 probably. Oh, no, 500. Uh, we, got, we got 500 megs on here. Yeah, so nothing special here. Let's go ahead and put a game in and make sure... Oh, now the tray is stuck. Wow, okay. There we go. <laughs> Just give it a couple hard, hard slaps. Let's go ahead and put in uh, MW2 and make sure it works. Yep, so the game booted right up. Uh, no issues at all. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console now. So next up, I have a pretty intriguing Xbox 360. First of all, I think the faceplate is not OEM. It just like the power button is weird. It's got a 60 gig hard drive, which is not right for an elite. And then here on the back, we've got a GameStop sticker on it, which is funny. It says remanufactured unit from GameStop. We have a sticker here that appears to have a date where the first two fields are not filled out, but it looks like it has a 2015 date. So I'm going to assume that GameStop did something with this in 2015. Um, it appears to be a Jasper. It even has a Jasper sticker, but let's go ahead and plug it in and See if it works. All right, 2 2 one we got life and... Okay, yeah, GameStop definitely was in this console because they put the 12-volt the fan mod on this thing because it's immediately blasting air like crazy. Open up the disk drive. Do we have any free games? Hey, we got Skyrim. Nice. It doesn't look too bad. It's going to put that back in. And yeah, this faceplate is definitely not OEM. It just feels slightly off. It doesn't really matter. It's just uh, interesting to note. And then booting up, we have a few profiles already on here. We got ALS52292, <laughs> got Racy R, Salsa, and yeah, so not much here. But let's go ahead and log in and see what they got. All right, so this person played some Skyrim, some Fallout 3, Left 4 Dead 2, 1, uh, Fallout New Vegas. This person seems to be a, a Beth Bethesda fan. All right, so both Salsa and Racy R have only played Left 4 Dead 1. Um, and that's it. So not much on this console. Let's go ahead and uh, try out Skyrim and make sure it works, though. And I'm actually really curious to see what GameStop did on the inside of this console because you can, like I say, there's definitely the 12-volt fan mod. Uh, they probably did a bolt mod as well if they're doing, like, what GameStop used to do. So I might... I might open this up in this video or maybe a future video because like I said in this video I just want to do everything as is so I'm just too curious Let's go ahead and open this console up and see what it looks like on the inside and actually first I just want to show you this faceplate and oh gosh Yes, yeah, definitely third party it just like it looks very similar, but it's slightly off 
Um, just strange, but uh, definitely been open before. <laughs> And I actually forgot, GameStop always puts this refurbished sticker like right on the inside there. Uh, so you know it's definitely not been open since GameStop opened it. All right, yeah, there's definitely a bolt mod here because you can see there's no screws here. Usually there's eight like small black screws like along those holes right there. All right, and the top cover is the metal piece is falling off. Now down here you can see, wow, they actually put a, they put a sticker on the heat sink? That seems wrong. Like if that heat sink gets hot, it's gonna melt the sticker I would think or that can't be good. And there's a giant number four on this. It's what in the world? Why would they do that? That's so strange. And of course, down here you can see the the fan mods. So let me just like uh, pull this out a little bit, a little bit more, and I'll show you what's going on here. So of course, down here are your fans. And back in the day, people would do 12 volt fan mods for the 360 all the time because it, it was pretty common because you were trying to get your fan to spin as fast as possible to keep it from overheating. Now what they would do is is splice the fan wires into the disk drive wires that can that supply to constant 12 volts of power so that it's basically giving full power to the fans all the time. So that's what all these wires are here. And uh, yeah, so I guess uh, it was pretty common knowledge that GameStop kind of did that as like a standard procedure in the refurbishing process. But let's go ahead and keep breaking this down and uh, let's take a look at the bolt mod. All right, now pulling the motherboard out. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And oh yeah, there we go. Got that nice bolt mod. Not even, there's not even any kind of uh, like plastic washers between the the screw and the boards. It's the the screws are just bolted straight to the board. That's just not ideal. Now we've gone this far. We might as well go ahead and take the screws out and look at the thermal paste as well, to just just to see what that looks like. All right, got that off. And yeah, I think the the white stuff is definitely their new paste. It's so old at this point because it was put on so long ago that it, well, actually it's still kind of mushy. Um, not too bad. We'll, we'll replace that, but we got some some tape here covering up your you know your capacitors there. Let's go ahead and take off the other one as well. All right, now that one. Oh. That one's actually got a bit more thermal paste, but the good news is they actually, at least they, at least GameStop back in the day actually refurbished these. Like they took them apart and applied a 12 volt fan mod and they replaced thermal paste. It's like, it's a lot more than a lot of people do um, when they say they're refurbished stuff. Now I haven't looked into the whole bolt mod thing in quite a while, but I think the conclusion now is that it's basically useless. Like the, cause the core of the Red Ring of Death issue is not even related to what the, the bolt mod was doing now, but back in the day we thought it did something. And the other thing I'm curious about is if this console ever actually had Red Ring of Death, because it is a Jasper console. It's very slim chance of it getting Red Ring of Death. Now it could have, but I wonder if GameStop just went to every single console they refurbished and just did this bolt mod and fan process on every single console. I don't know, um, but just interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, next up I have another 360 Slim and this one looks pretty good. It is a matte one, which always, they always look better than the glossy ones. Now, is there a hard drive? Nope, we probably have four gigs built in. Let me go ahead and check out the back here. Manufacturing 2011, warranty seal still intact. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, console's booting up. Any free games? Nope, but the disk drive shoots out. Let's go ahead and put a game in uh, prematurely here so we can test it out. And yep, console booted up. We got <laughs> the bomb killer junior, which is cool. Uh, dang, it's got 9,000 gamer score. Solid. Any, nope, no bio, no message, no nothing, but we got a, oh, got a little jazz background. That's pretty cool. Live jazz, he's got the swag on. Let's go ahead and see when this guy last played. We got Barbie Puppy 2015, all right. Tecmo Bowl throwback. Uh, 20, oh, wow, 2018. So this is fairly recent, five years ago. Got a bunch of, you know, Call of Duties, NFL 10. Um, actually, a ton of games on here. It goes up to 57 games, so this guy's been playing for quite a while. And yeah, going back to the very first game played, which was uh, Madden NFL 13. So yeah, and Far Cry 3 was played in 2013. So this person played from 2013 till, uh, what was it, 2017, 2018, I think it said. Um, so we got about a five year span. Let's go ahead and boot up the game and make sure it works. So yeah, game is working and this console is super quiet. I've come across a, a lot of slims that are very quiet consoles, which is cool to see. Uh, but let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up I have a glossy slim, which of course, as always, very beat up and warranty seal is still intact. Manufactured in 2010, so a pretty early slim. Now, is there a hard drive? Nope, <laughs> again. Uh, let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, got it turned on, it's booting up. Any games? Nope, oh, man. 360s, man, I just want some more free games. Not many, not many today. And now we're booted up, and of course, no storage. <laughs> let's go ahead, and put a, go ahead and put a game in and make sure it works. Dude, it, there's definitely something wrong with this disk drive. It just, for some reason, it recognized the, uh, the game as a DVD. Let me try that one more time. It's recognizing the game as a DVD. That is so odd. Let me try, let me try this Skyrim in here. All right, well, Skyrim is booting up. I feel like I've seen this issue before though. Like it's been a long time, but I'm pretty sure when it's not reading games, but it is reading DVDs, it means the laser is going out. Like it's just dying. Uh, you can either turn, you can either, uh, you know, turn up the power or swap out the laser. Again, like I said, I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just testing everything and selling as is. So we'll have this down below for sale for pretty cheap. Um, might, re might read games, might need some work. I don't know, but uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. All right, so next up we have two Wii's left. And they both have our GameCube compatible white Wii's. This first one, 
new SD card. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, wait, <laughs> there's a dead spider attached to that Wii. Uh, second one actually has both flaps and looks pretty clean for a Wii. Surprising, and there's no SD card there. Let's go ahead and plug in the first one in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got power, and oh, it's definitely a game. I really want something other than Wii Sports or Mario Kart this time. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Hey, the game's actually worth, I think, less than Wii Sports, but good to finally see a different game. This one is a bit beat up, but it looks like mostly smudges, not scratches or anything. So let's go ahead and put it back in, and this drive sounds pretty loud. <laughs> but here on the main, ooh, ooh, we got some games. We got Cave Story, demo. It's just a demo. Oh, okay. Well, that's lame. But the game is loading up. Of course, we'll do a more in-depth test later, but let's go ahead and check out uh, the last time this console was played. All right, so June 2013 was the last time I could play, find some play data, and of course, it's just Netflix and a ton of messages. <laughs> a Wii Network service partial discontinuation. I actually did not realize it was... Was it really 2013 when they discontinued the Wii Network? Wow, that's actually surprising. And then, hey, oh, we got a lot of Miis. Yeah, Garfield. It looks like it looks kind of like Garfield. Definitely from the Check Me Out channel. We got an alien spelled incorrectly. That's awesome. <laughs> we got crazy. Yeah, he does look pretty crazy. Batman. Okay, this person this person lived on the Check Me Out channel because I remember seeing all of these. We got E.T. Uh, we've got Lion. Yeah, there is Garfield. Stewie. Yeah, this person literally just downloaded everything off the, the Check Me Out channel because I had my <laughs> Quagmire. <laughs> I had a lot of these as well. Charlie Brown. Let's go, Darth. Peter. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it took me this long to find a Wii console that was like that was like this because this is how mine is. I have a ton of just me's that I made, but also a ton of me's I downloaded from the Check Me Out channel because it was just people would people were so creative and came up with these really cool me's like Harry Potter, Scooby, like these are awesome. Like the the Joker, the creativity here is just unmatched. Best Buy <laughs> this tie does actually look like a Best Buy employee. That's funny. But anyways, this Wii is good to go. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next Wii is plugged in and I'm really hoping we get another free game because we've been on a on a roll today. And there's definitely another game in there. I can hear it. I want some variety here. Give me another game that's not Wii Sports, please. Please. Well, I, I can't complain. Wii Sports, I mean, this is a $20 game, and this one looks like it's in pretty nice condition, which is not surprising given the condition of this console. But, <laughs> dude, we actually hit the jackpot today on free games. That's, that's wild. Now, the console itself looks super basic. Not much on it. Um, Wii Sports is loading up. Let's go ahead and check out the last time this console was played. All right, November 2012, we got some messages here. We got, yeah, Wii Sports. Yes, the person played Wii Sports for a couple hours, and then just, uh... Never played again, apparently. So we got, got Alexander played some bowling. Uh, you know, Saul played some bowling. But let's go ahead and head over to the Me channel and see how many Mii's we find. So only six Mii's on here, so not much here, but we got Bobby Dumb, which is funny. It's probably like a, a kid making fun of his brother by calling Bobby Dumb. I don't, I don't know, that's just my guess, but uh, console's good to go. But overall, this ended up being a really good lot of consoles. I'll go ahead and throw my profit on the screen from this video and all the previous videos, minus the consoles I've already bought with the profits. And uh, like I usually do, I'm gonna spend these profits on more limited edition Xbox 360s, and we'll show those in future videos. But guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.